Gertrude Street in Melbourne's inner city suburb of Fitzroy is enjoying a renaissance. The once overlooked street today is one of the city's most vibrant high streets and home to a mix of independent retailers. It is an example of how a high street can evolve without losing its identity. Most of its shops are housed in genteel Victorian terraces, while the nearby public housing estate stands as a reminder of the suburb's enduring diversity. As a result, Gertrude Street has an eclecticism that ensures its liveliness. Today, the Fitzroy neighborhood street offers a varied selection of retailers, galleries, bars and restaurants, with a wholesome proportion of new entrants alongside more established names. Monocle meets six retailers who anchor the street. This is Pickings and Parry and uh, we sell menswear with a heritage and a unique nature that's selected from around the world. And uh, we also have a barber shop in store providing grooming services by the traditional barber. And the idea is that everything is real, from the furniture to the people to the clothing. The whole shop itself is designed around experience. We're trying to, to sort of create a selection of products that are based around quality and, and manufacturing integrity as well as history and heritage. The idea came around because there was nothing like it in Melbourne already and I found that everything I wanted to buy, I had to buy on the internet, which kind of takes away the whole experience of feeling fabrics and touching things and learning about things and, and meeting people. We wanted to be on Gertrude Street from the beginning because it's close enough to the city to be discoverable but, but far enough away to not be part of the CBD. And, and in terms of retail, there's not enough stores to make it a really busy high street commercial shopping strip, but there's enough stores that it, it sort of remains local as well and, it, and it, most of the stores are independent or relatively small and um, it's just a great place to be, really it's a good place to, to work. Our shop is called El Lobo, this is my wife's business. We basically do custom made objects. So we build everything from very, very small items like spatulas and cutting boards right through to six metre long tables made of materials like quartz, timber, steel, concrete. All of our products are made in Abbotsford, which is about three kilometres from Gertrude Street. She uses a lot of reclaimed materials from old boats, from buildings that have been demolished. And so also building things in a manner which means that they're going to last. And from a function perspective, that they're built to be optimal for how they're going to be used. We moved into Gertrude Street uh, in 2014. It was hard to find somewhere that was appropriate. Um, neither of us having come from a retail background. And Gertrude Street really has that diversity. Um, and that artistic element to it, and an edgy side. I've been running this store for 15 years in the same spot in Fitzroy on Gertrude Street. And the primary objective of Northside Records is to push and grow soul music in Melbourne town. And like 15 years ago, we had one band. Now we have over 40 bands, we have uh, Grammy nominated R&B acts and Fitzroy has always had a culture of loving soul music and loving live music. So it's, it just made sense to stay here and to be here and to help, you know, help the culture that is here, you know, just keep reinforcing funky soul music in Fitzroy. The vibe on Gertrude Street, like it's got a, it's got a day life and a night life. I think that's quite important with a street to not only offer just bars or just retail, but a good mixture of both and a good mixture of businesses that are owner operated because that is the secret to people being invested in their neighborhood. It's theirs, you know, it's, you're not employing someone all the time, you're there all the time and people know that you're there too, so they know you care. This is St. Cloud. We sell bikes and all bike related things. I started the shop six years ago. I was actually upstairs using the space as a studio. And then the girls who ran the shop downstairs, where we are now, they needed to get out of their lease. So within six months, I went from 
like not even considering starting a shop to just starting a shop because this lease was available. So it was a, a real accident, but a really fortunate accident. The Melbourne cycling scene's fantastic. One of the best in Australia. It's so rich with lots of different styles of cycling. So you've got your, your people that race, you've got your, everyone commutes around because the streets are so easy to ride on. It's a really interesting little street. You've got a mix of like really fancy restaurants um, and really cheap you know, eateries. And then you've got shops like us selling bikes and then you've got someone doing massage and then it's just a massive mix of a whole lot of different things. Those bigger shops wouldn't do so well here so it's with us kind of interesting little places can thrive. I think that's the main reason why it's stayed like this for so long and hopefully always will. This is Tarlow and Graham. We've been operating for 12 years. We're essentially second-hand dealers selling across a bunch of categories um, from modern antiques to natural history, scientific pieces, art, objects, lighting, a whole range of categories. The two most important things for our business are the product, what we select and also how we put it together. So that sets us apart from other stores that you might walk into. We spend a lot of time and put a lot of effort into making the experience different when people walk into the store. We did have two stores, now we've decided just to trade out of our Fitzroy store and have a much stronger web presence. But retail is, is what I love doing, you know, I love creating beautiful windows, um, that's something that I think we're known for. I guess with the prevalence now of the internet and websites and that everything is available online, there's still definitely a place for people to shop in bricks and mortar businesses. Um, they get the opportunity to see the item rather than just seeing it on a screen. And in our type of business, I think that's really important. We are the Standard Store. We offer a curated mix of international brands for men and women's. We've been here for nearly two years now, which is really exciting. Originally from Sydney, the owners love travelling overseas and finding the unusual brands that no one else will have and bringing those to the Australian market. They're wanted pieces to put something different into somebody's wardrobe. That's, and I mean, it works here because it, it is a unique offering for Melbourne, but specifically Gertrude Street, it's, it's just representative of what Gertrude Street is something unique. The retail stores on Gertrude Street were all close. It's a, it's a nice tight little family, especially with our immediate block. You can go into the store and, and borrow a receipt roll if you need it or, you know, introduce the customer to that store if they're not aware of it. Uh, it's, it's very much a community feel. While many high streets in Melbourne have become homogenised, Gertrude Street is a benchmark for how traditional bricks and mortar retail can adapt to new habitats. And while the street has ridden an inevitable wave of gentrification over the past decade or so, it has resisted the change that render a shopping street generic. In Melbourne, from Monocle, I'm Pauline den Hertog-Jager. <laughs>